Hi everyone, my name is Lucy, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video all about what is in my bag, summer edition. So I filmed a video last year all about what was in my kind of backpack which I use every day. I'll link that down below in case you haven't seen that yet. But basically I wanted to do a video all about what's in my kind of like summer bag that I take around all the time. Um, basically when I'm not going to work this is more of like a weekend, summer weekend edition. Maybe that's what I'll call this video the summer weekend edition of what's in my bag. So if you're new to this channel, hi again, I'm Lucy and I usually make videos about books and lifestyle and writing and reading. I read a lot of books, but I also like to branch out and do more lifestyle-y things. Um, I really like fashion and beauty, so I'm kind of like branching out a bit here. You know, we're mixing it up and I wanted to talk through all about what I usually keep when I'm out at the weekend and with my little trusty Kate Spade weekend bag here. So this is, I'm actually looking this up because I don't know, I'm so bad. This is the Kate Spade Kingston Drive Arla Leather Crossbody Bag. So I picked this up in an outlet when I went to Australia last year. It was the best purchase of my life. I'm not gonna lie, I got this discounted so cheap. Thank heavens for the exchange rate, but also Kate Spade outlets because it may, meant I could afford this beauty and it's so stunning. What I really like about this bag is it's got this um, crossbody strap as suggested in the name. It's also just such a gorgeous colour, like the blush kind of mauvey look. I'm just down for this. So I'm going to talk through what I carry in this little bag because don't get me wrong, it is little. And if you watch my other What's In My Bag from last year, I do it with my backpack. So there's so much stuff in there. And I say in that video that I'm just such a clutterer. Like I just like hoarding things. So the effort of not putting too much in this bag has been real. So guys, let's get going on what is in my Kate Spade bag. So it has a front little pocket here, which is really, really helpful. It's also got this gorgeous lining, which I'll show you guys in more detail soon, but there is kind of a little popper front pocket here. This is where I keep all of my need to reach stuff. So if we open it up, we have a few things. So we have my little whistles, um, kind of crocodile, mock croc, <laughs> um, card holder. And I have my Oyster card here and I have my little bank card here. Um, basically you can't fit a proper full purse in this, I would say, unless you have like kind of a mini purse. I can't fit my big purse in here. Um, so I kind of would hand pick a card holder to stick in that front pocket. Also that is more convenient when you're just out and about at the weekend, you don't want to bring your entire life with you. So this bag is definitely helping me downsize a bit and not bring out the kitchen sink with me. So also I always keep my earphones. Earphones, oh my God. Right guys, I am one of those people who I can't be without music at any time. Whatever I'm doing, I have to have something on. Um, you know, whether that's commuting to work, I have to listen to music or a podcast. Whilst I'm at work, I have to listen to music to help me concentrate. Even when I'm reading, I have to listen to music. A little bit crazy, but that's why these headphones are probably my most treasured possession. We also have, oh, what is this in here? Okay, so an empty chewing gum wrapper. Actually, no, there's two pieces in here. Um, I just like to keep chewing gum with me. You never know when you're going to be faced with a a last minute situation and you're like, I have not great breath. And then we've got a receipt here. Oh, for ZZ's. Well, that was a while ago. When was this from? Um, December. So like a receipt for pizza in December. I'm gross. Um, okay, and that is all that's in the kind of front compartment here. And then if you open it up, it's got this like really cute little tassel. And then you are in the big main compartment. There is a little zip here. I don't keep anything in that. Like I'll probably keep like, I don't know, just like little bits that I don't want in, you know, floating in the main bag. But I usually don't reach for this because the nature of the bag means that it's quite hard to kind of stick your hand in that zip pocket. But this is all the stuff that I put in my main compartment. First up we have lip balm nearly out but this is the nukes rev de miel lip balm oh my god guys this is my ultimate favorite lip balm i adore it love that stuff we also have a trusty lipstick 
So this is currently the one I'm wearing today. It is the Marc Jacobs um, Liquid Lip Crayon in Framboise. So it's like a gorgeous like berry shade and looks like this. The one thing I'd say about this lipstick though, it's really nice like now, once I've like kind of dabbed it, but when you first put it on, like it gets everywhere. They're not kidding about liquid lip crayon because I literally put this on this morning I went to go like put some powder I think down my nose and suddenly this lipstick was like all the way up my cheek so I feel like you need to put this on at the very very last stage and then blot the hell out of it but I really really love the colour and I think eventually it's a nice consistency but at first it's a bit messy um, but I always keep a lipstick on me all the time I feel a bit naked without it to be honest I would always choose a lipstick over anything else so always carry a lipstick with me and then we have a hairbrush in there too so I have really like knotty hair and when it's windy it just annoys me if I don't just brush my hair you know so I always keep a little like hand travel size hairbrush with me and finally um not finally but I have keys obviously um they just kind of slip in there which is quite good and my phone so that is what is in my kind of weekend bag my kate spade now usually i always have a book with me always this is of course a book channel at the end of the day even though i dabble with some lifestyle content so if i was carrying this bag with me and i had maybe a bit of traveling to do and i didn't have a book i would without a doubt read on my phone so i've taken to start using the kindle app on my phone um so that means that whenever i am in a position where i'm carrying this bag and i can't fit a book in i know i'm fine with my kindle app so let me just open this up um i've actually actually just finished a little book on here basically i've just finished a book on here um it was almost love by louise o'neill 10 out of 10 guys i'll do a review and stuff very very soon but i really like reading on my phone now um so that is what i do when i'm in a position where i can't carry my kindle or a paperback i'll bring my phone with me obviously and just it fits my bag it's perfect and importantly i'm getting that reading done so guys that is it for my summer weekend what's in my bag I'll leave a link to the bag down below. It's probably like many seasons ago, but at least you can get an idea of the style um, if you like that and want to try and find it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.